Hey, vegan cyclist. So real talk. Mm. Hey, vegan cyclist. So real quick, real talk on the power of YouTube, kind of what videos I have going on, where I've been, how the cycling camp kind of went, and just some other miscellaneous stuff. All right, so I haven't posted videos in a little while because I was getting ready and prepped for the first ever Yosemite cycling camp called the Mountain Men. You see, you know, I, I kind of posted about it. I posted a video about it. Uh, basically, the camp pretty much sold out within 12 hours, and we ended up getting 12 guys to come out here to Bass Lake. It was phenomenal. Um, and I'm going to do a full-on video for that detailing the camp. I've got tons of photos and tons of video that I got to kind of sift through and tell that story. But I just really quickly want to express my gratitude and how crazy it is that there that the power of YouTube is so real. Without YouTube, I don't think this would have been a thing. But I was able to collect 12 awesome people from around the country. They come out here, they send me their bikes, they send me money. You know, they're just a guy that they met on YouTube and didn't even really met. They didn't even meet me. You know what I mean? It was just they saw me on YouTube and now we're all hanging out in a rental house in Bass Lake together eating awesome food. It's just insane, right? So the experience was unreal. And I will, I'm going to show that to you, obviously. But the, just the power of YouTube uh, of bringing together like minded people in that fashion was just really cool. It was really. Uh, it was really an amazing experience to be able to hang out with these people, kind of understand where they're coming from, um, and, and bring people together that would have never otherwise rode together in such an amazing place like Yosemite and up, you know, to Mammoth Pools and through some crazy woods on the dirt. You know, I don't really have that much of an audience when you compare it to some of the bigger YouTube channels, right? Millions of views is not a thing I get. Um, a lot of my videos are anywhere between 5,000 views and, and upwards sometimes of 15,000 views, but that's kind of unique. Usually for me, it's not, that's kind of rare. Uh, but the engagement that I have from, from you is just insane. The, the support on the kits, on the fruit kit and the VC kit, which you can get at any time, uh, follow whatever link I have down here, just kind of Facebook me um, if you want to get in on that. But anyway, that kit was amazing. You know, that was such an awesome experience. And then the cycling camp, such an awesome experience. And those are things that I wouldn't have been able to do without YouTube. It had been really difficult as like a business model, I guess, to try to branch out and create this, this kit company and this cycling camp company uh, without having this engagement. And I know other YouTubers get probably way more views than I do, but I just want to express my sincere gratitude for the engagement that I get f from you guys. The comments, um, the messages, the emails, I read them all and it's just insane. It's awesome and I love it. it. It enriches my life. Some upcoming videos that I have is a three verse one uh, breakdown where I am uh, I'm, I'm racing against three teammates. It was really kind of an interesting deal. It was a lot of fun. So um, it was like a, a a group ride, but it was like a little breakaway of three of them and one of me. We'll go through that. That was really cool. I have some full on epic descents to show you. I've got a, a video with Chaz where it's like how to pace with a, a full climber, like a, a pure climber. I've got a race day uh, vlog from Turlock when I was in the breakaway with those guys um, that I still have to edit. Uh, I've got a video on heart rate versus power versus feel versus cadence, kind of just overall like what is the right metric for you. And then I have uh, the story of this camp, of the cycling camp, the Yosemite cycling camp, the mountain men camp um, that I got to put together. It's going to be difficult. I didn't really film very much during the camp. I was just pinned mentally, fully invested in that. Um, that's why I haven't posted any videos because leading up to it and then through it, it was just, it, it was, I was operating at maximum efficiency just to keep that camp going. It's definitely something we're going to do again, a hundred percent. It was so amazing. Uh, and so, you know, if you haven't watched the full live Zwift race that I did, um, link is probably be at the end of the video or down in the description. That was a lot of fun. And again, kind of following on that same line of like power of YouTube, 
man, I went so deep and so hard uh, in the first, you know, 20 minutes of that race because I knew that people were watching live. And, uh, and I was just like, dude, I can't get dropped in the first couple minutes of this, you know, two hour live stream. And, uh, and so just knowing that you guys were watching and like having my wife kind of, she was telling me the comments, right? The live comments saying like, oh, these people are telling you push, push, go, go, go. Man, I went out of my face for sure. So if you want to watch that, that was really cool. I'm going to do more of those because it's really easy to put that up. Um, cause I just Zwift it and, and, and then it loads, right? So I'll do some more of those. Um, but let me know maybe, I guess what you what you want to see if there's a, a specific topic that you want me to talk about um, or more of something that you want to see but dude obviously I'm trying to produce quality content and uh, it just takes a lot of mental power to get on these videos and get them done but I've got so many going and now that the camp is behind us I can get back to kind of the YouTube thing right which this YouTube thing is what created that camp right so I got to make sure that I'm sustaining the the YouTube channel for sure so anyway, I don't really know what else to say. I just need to put something up. A video just kind of get me back into uploading videos and uh, I'll be banging them out as soon as possible. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Especially to the 12 dudes who came and spent a week with me, basically at my home, riding around the most beautiful area on the planet. Uh, I really appreciate it. And we'll go over all that. I'll post that video soon. Power of YouTube is real, guys. Thank you so much for your support. As always, Beacon Cyclist. Yeah.